Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Katrina. And together with our three boys, we live at Rocky Cape on the northwest coast of Tasmania. Our farming journey began in 2005. Once we'd saved up enough money for a deposit, we bought our first farm, 100 hectares. We've since grown that to nearly 700 hectares. So we're currently milking 850 cows on 300 hectares, 250 hectares irrigated, 470 milk solids on about 1.3 tonne of grain. We carve in January, February, March each year. We previously had a 40 a side hearing bone. We've gone to 16 GEA robotic boxes. The main reason was to cut down on labour. We have about five full-time staff. Uh, now we're down to one full-time staff and myself and Katrina, and we have extra labour at carving. Our lives have changed a lot since installing the robots and we now can be flexible in when we are on the farm. We don't have to be here at certain times of the day to milk the cows, so we can arrange things around that with the children and doing sports and activities with them rather than having to be here at certain times. It will be good to see our boys come back to work on the farm. It will be their decision if they do do that, but hopefully having the robots will be an incentive for them to do that, not have to put cups on cows every day. And technology is a huge thing in young people's lives at the moment. And hopefully this is an incentive for them to want to be on the farm. Since changing to the robotics, the uh, animal health has improved. The lameness has almost disappeared and the conception rate has improved. We're consistently getting under 5% empties every year. If a cow is, steps on a rock, it stops. It doesn't keep on walking and push that rock into its foot. It finds another step. The voluntary milking side of it is yeah, really attractive to us. We use the Cow Scout monitoring through their collars to detect sickness. This shows up on the monitoring before you even see it in the cows that are there deteriorating their health. It shows they're eating daily and it sends you an alarm as soon as their eating has dropped off from their norm. We're using a four-way grazing system. So we have gate changes every six hours and the cows seem to be leaving a good residual behind for using the four-way grazing. The voluntary milking system is a completely different way of farming. The cows can walk at their leisure from the paddock to the dairy, be milked and off to a new paddock. 